harder on us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed. This was the deadliest day for U.S. law enforcement since 9-11. Just days after this horrific crime, Mandela Barnes appeared on Vladimir Putin's propaganda news outlet and rationalized violence against American police officers. Police officers are over-exercising their badges. This probably was a retaliatory attack. Do you want Mandela Barnes representing you in the Senate? I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. The reason I support Katrina right now, even though I've been a lifelong Republican, is she never talks about the fact that she's a Democrat. She's more about people, country, these kind of things. The military is a very stressful occupation. I felt I really needed more professional help, and I decided that I was going to reach out to Katrina about my mental health. Katrina Shanklin not only got me there, but she saved my life. I'm Katrina Shanklin, and I approve this message. Straight ahead, an inside look at the election process. We will talk to the Rhinelander city clerk. Plus, with inflation still high, we'll hear why the Fed is again raising interest rates. And a hobby unlike any other. We'll learn about finding glowing rocks near Lake Superior as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Conrad Sapinski. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch 12 at 5. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. Knowing how and where to vote can be confusing. With the midterm election less than one week away, it's important to know how to register and where to go. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pozorski joins us to share what you need to know on how to vote come Tuesday. Kyle. Well, Dan and Jessica, today I met with Rhinelander clerk Austin Zarda, who says this election could be one of the busiest in recent memory. So I'm definitely expecting a very high turnout. Tons of people are engaged. We're having tons of new voter registration, young voters, new folks in the area that are coming to cast their ballot. Elections can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be, especially if you register ahead of time. And once you walk in, there will be a voter registration table. There will be multiple poll workers who will be able to direct you to whichever table you need to go to. If you're not registered, it may take longer come Tuesday. If you're not registered to vote, you got to bring your photo ID as well as a proof of residence. So it could be a bank statement, um, utility bill, anything like that. And for Rhinelander residents, everyone will vote at the Hodeg Dome. As long as you're in line by 8 p.m., you're able to vote. If you want to learn about who and what is on your ballot, here's how. Head to myvote.wi.gov, then click on What's on my ballot. From there, type in your address. This will bring you to a sample ballot to view your candidates. If you have further questions on how to vote come Tuesday, you can easily get in contact with your local clerk's office by simply searching online with keywords like Rhinelander City Clerk. You can also go to myvote.wi.com. It's a great day to be outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. Conrad, what can we expect for the rest of this week? Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful outside once again. It's like the fifth day in a row. Temperatures well above our average for this time of year. Taking a look outside right now, it is gorgeous all the way across, not only in Wisconsin, but even all across the country, 60s and 70s. Check out all the way up to Canada, International Falls, coming in with a 70-degree reading. That is unseasonably warm for this time of year our average closer to 46 check out our record high for today in 1933 we had a record high of 74 degrees did we reach that no we did not not quite two degrees off but very very close but you get the hang of it warm warm temperatures are all across the state check out ashland 75 degrees so pretty much like a nice summer day short sleeve weather weather has arrived and pretty much sunny skies in our state rhinelander northwoods all in on that sunny weather most of the country is on, a, on some sunny weather as lots of drought continues all throughout the south but temperatures tonight will continue to drop nowhere near our average low for this time of year but still hovering in those lower 50s. Jessica? Thank you Conrad. Multiple fire departments responded after a garage caught fire in Pelican this afternoon. The call came in over the scanner just before 3:30 about a structure fire in the town of Pelican on Ryan Rapids Bluff off of County Road G. Smoke was seen along County Road G and when fire crews arrived the garage was fully engulfed in flames as well as some surrounding grass. A deputy on scene says that one person was able to escape the fire. Multiple fire departments responded to the scene to help put out those flames. The cause of the blaze is under investigation. 
Wisconsin DHS has created a free telehealth service to streamline COVID-19 treatment. Anyone 18 and older who tests positive for COVID-19 can have a telehealth consultation with a healthcare clinician within 5 to 30 minutes. If eligible, a clinician will prescribe an oral antiviral pill that reduces the risk for severe symptoms, hospitalization, and death from COVID-19. The prescription can be filled at over 600 pharmacies in the state. Insurance is not required. Those without pharmacy access can have their medicine shipped overnight. The COVID-19 treatment telehealth service is available statewide, accessible through internet and telephone, and consultations are available in multiple languages. Consultations are available seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart have tentatively agreed to pay at least $12 billion to settle opioid lawsuits. According to Bloomberg, the lawsuits were brought by state and local governments. They allege the retailers mishandled prescriptions of opioid painkillers. More than 3,000 lawsuits have been filed against pharmacies, opioid manufacturers, and distributors accusing them of downplaying the addiction risks of opioids and also failing to stop the pills from being used illegally. Data shows the opioid crisis has claimed more than a half a million lives over the past two decades, 80,000 of them in 2021 alone. The Federal Reserve on Wednesday raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point as it continued to battle the worst outbreak of inflation in 40 years. Chairman of the Fed, Jerome Powell, announced the decision at 1.30 this afternoon. This is the sixth time that interest rates have been raised this year to combat inflation. Chairman Powell said during the meeting that the Federal Reserve feels that they're committed to getting inflation under control. My colleagues and I are strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. We have both the tools that we need and the resolve it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. Powell also said the Fed could slow down pace of hikes as soon as next month. Currently, interest rates are at the highest point in nearly 15 years. The White House says President Biden's top advisors are making plans for a 2024 re-election bid. This even though Biden has not yet decided whether to throw his hat into the ring again. Biden at 79 is the oldest president in American history. He said late last month he intends to run but has not formally made a decision. Today a White House senior advisor said planning for a potential campaign is already underway. She reiterated Biden will be making a decision on whether to run in close consultation with his family as he has done in the past. Our days are getting shorter, and while that's sad for a lot of people, for a small group of rock hunters, it makes for perfect conditions. This time of year, adventurers are out along the shores of Lake Superior looking for euperlites, which are seemingly normal gray rocks that glow vibrantly under UV light. Euperlites come from Ontario, where a glacier displaced them throughout the Great Lakes region. Rock enthusiasts, or hounders as they're called, walk up and down the shoreline. John Medved is one of them. Here's an example of uh, cyanitic granite with fluorescent sodalite. It's viewable with a UV light like these, and without it, they just look like a normal rock. But when you shine them, then they, with the ultraviolet light, then they fluoresce really beautiful. The rocks are able to glow thanks to electromagnetic radiation, which, is a UV, which UV flashlights are able to pick up. The higher quality light, the better. This cuts down your light pollution quite a bit and really makes finding uh, fluorescent soda light a lot easier. High quality UV lights can be found at specialty rock shops. Hounders can continue to find Uber lights from April until late December. For more on the special rocks, tune in to our 6 p.m. newscast. Native American voter turnout is lower than other groups, but it's been increasing in recent years. Coming up after the break, we'll learn about one group's work to make sure tribal members vote this election season. That's After Weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. this beautiful kitchen transformation we did in Kimberly. Terry and Kelly contacted our kitchen tune-up team to make their kitchen dream come true. We not only elevated the look of their cabinetry, but we also added storage and functionality. The kitchen tune-up team was excellent. We were amazed at the attention to detail and their communication. We would highly recommend them. We offer a variety of services to freshen up your space. 
For amazing results, call Kitchen Tune-Up today. You didn't tell me the handsome doctor was coming. Looks like the place was bombed. The lieutenant governor requested you... i to be right there. We left the OR before the surgery was finished. Those windows were full of jewelry. Potentially totaling in millions. This blast was intentional. They're claiming that their son's a death is murder. Come out with it if you're telling me that the CPD is going to leave me out here to dry. The reason I support Katrina right now, even though I've been a lifelong Republican, is she never talks about the fact that she's a Democrat. She's more about people, country, these kind of things. The military is a very stressful occupation. I felt I really needed more professional help, and I decided that I was going to reach out to Katrina about my mental health. Katrina Shanklin not only got me there, but she saved my life. I'm Katrina Shanklin, and I approve this message. Aren't you tired of the division, the anger? I know I sure am. Our country faces enormous challenges. I promise I'll do everything I can to help make things better and I'll always tell you the truth. What continues to give me hope are the kind and decent people I meet all over Wisconsin. People who love America and are willing to work hard to unify and heal it. Please join us. I'm Ron Johnson, I approve this message and I'm asking for your vote. We've made it the second day of November, feeling like the second day of August. That's how warm it is outside. Temperatures in the 70s, and it is looking beautiful. Lots of sunshine all throughout the states in Rhinelander, Northwoods, pretty much all over the state. Not only in Wisconsin, all over the country. Lots of sunshine, barely any rainfall. Just a little pocket of rain uh, closer to Virginia, but in general, all of that is very light and not where we need all that rain. Just to the south, Oklahoma, Texas, that's where that drought is going on. For us, though, rain will be back. Enjoy the sunshine today into tomorrow because rain starts to move in by the morning hours on Friday, continuing throughout the day on Friday and really picking up in intensity in the afternoon hours and Saturday once again keep those umbrellas handy as rain rain go away yes that's going to be the saying as it's going to be sticking around with us pretty much through the weekend before finally moving out by sunday into monday so like i said there's big droughts all across the country just down south locations in the red are in a severe drought the mississippi is actually at a record low they're almost 11 feet below normal level just think about that 11 feet that is enormous, and that's going to continue to dissipate as rainfall is going to be lackful all throughout the country the next couple of weeks. Temperatures, though, on the other hand, are looking nice. Lots of 70s, 80s even across the state. But look at just up north, close to Canada. That's even uh, the yellow right there. Yep. That is some 70s all the way up to Canada. For November, that is very, very unusual. Some record-breaking heat in Canada and even in our state. Right now, 69 in Rhinelander, 67 just to the south in Tomahawk. And temperatures are slowly and slowly starting to cool off as the sun is starting to set. But don't worry, tomorrow is going to be round two of warm temperatures. 66 degrees tomorrow. And then we really cool off as that rain comes in on Friday into Saturday. And that's really going to continue the next several days. By Monday, temperatures will be around 49. And then they slightly start to rise into those low to mid 50s outside into middle of next week winds are a little bit of an issue but it's so warm outside it doesn't even matter but most of the wind is blowing from the south and that's what's really bringing in all of those warm temperatures all the way up north as we do have wind gusts close to 30 miles an hour tonight is going to be very very mild you could actually crank open those windows that's how mild it's going to be tonight hovering around 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies and our seven day outlook Brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Does show another beautiful day outside tomorrow before more chances of showers by Friday and Saturday. Then we clear up by Sunday into Monday, but temperatures will continue to cool off into the 40s and 50s. Dan and Jessica. Thanks, Conrad. The nonprofit Wisconsin Native Vote formed originally to stop an open pit mine near Ojibwe land. Now it's working to boost native turnout in elections. And the group has had success in recent years. 
All of the native tribes in Wisconsin saw a larger turnout in 2020 than 2018, including 18 percent higher in Mole Lake. D-Suite leads Wisconsin native vote and is a member of the White Earth Ojibwe Band. She says native people have a history of tension with the federal government, including outright disenfranchisement. She says native people today are more engaged than ever in voting. We're going out there and having conversation, and really, I'm, I'm quite amazed how enthusiastic people are about voting on Tuesday. Sweet said many indigenous people vote with their future seventh generation in mind, that is, making sure their descendants have access to quality air, water, and nature. Tribal people are very interested in making sure that the quality of the water, the air, and the land and uh, the wild game have uh, an opportunity to thrive. Sweet and others with Wisconsin Native Vote have been out knocking on doors and sending out thousands of mailers this election season. Marquette Law School released their final poll today before the midterm election. The new Marquette Law School poll survey of Wisconsin voters finds that the margin is narrowing in the U.S. Senate race. Senator Ron Johnson is supported by 50 percent and Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes is the choice of 48 percent of the state's likely voters. In October, Johnson received 53 percent and Barnes trailed seven points with 46 percent. The governor race has tightened to a toss-up among likely voters, with 48 percent supporting Governor Tony Evers and his Republican challenger Tim Michaels. In October, Evers received 47 percent and Michaels had around 48, 46 percent. The survey was conducted October 24th to November 1st, interviewing 802 Wisconsin registered voters with a margin of error around 4.6 percentage points. Prices could soon drop for grain. This comes as Russia is rejoining the agreement to guarantee safe passage for ships carrying vital grain exports from Ukraine. It's a move that could ease concerns about global food supplies. The agreement guarantees the safety of ships carrying Ukrainian grain, fertilizer, and other items through a humanitarian corridor in the Black Sea. All ships coming to and from Ukraine ports are inspected and monitored by the international team made up of officials from Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, and the UN. As inflation pushes the cost of groceries up 13 percent compared to last year, there's one item that's less expensive. Avocados are actually down almost 3 percent from last September. Last year, there was a shortage of the fruit with higher price tags, but now a bumper crop of avocados from Mexico, Australia, and Peru are flooding the market and lowering prices. That should translate into plenty of guacamole for the Super Bowl in February, the biggest day of consumption for avocados. A 24-year-old woman accused of killing a man, then dismembering him, will soon get re-evaluated by mental health professionals. Police were called to a Wisconsin home in February and found a severed head in the basement. The woman pled not guilty by reason of insanity, but in May she was found competent to st stand trial. Brittany Schmidt has the details on why a judge decided to grant her a second competency hearing. The state of Wisconsin versus Taylor Shabiznis. Within minutes of Taylor Shabiznis's status conference Tuesday afternoon, Brown County Judge Thomas Walsh asked her defense attorney why he wants another competency evaluation. In July of this year, Ms. Shabiznis's brother passed away. Since then, there has been a dramatic decline, I believe, in her ability to assist me or to understand what is going on with this case. Defense attorney Quinn Jolly says Shabiznis has been on suicide watch for two months now, making it hard for him or anyone to meet with her. Judge Walsh says the psychologist in charge of submitting a report based on Shabiznis's not guilty plea by reason of insanity had to reschedule Shabiznis for a mental health evaluation in October. This letter uh, indicates that the evaluator is going to need some more time requesting an extension of the return of the report until no later than November 11, and then apologizing for the delay. State attorney Caleb so Saunders did not take a position on the competency request. In May, the court ruled the business competent to face trial after listening to four hours of testimony from two forensic psychologists. Judge Walsh reviewed those reports and noted a line from the court-appointed evaluator. It indicates 
And I quote, from a broader clinical perspective, I would encourage court officers to remain sensitive in the event of any signs of significant fluctuations in Ms. Shabiznes' overall mental status or behavioral stability. Such changes may signal fluctuations in her competency and warrant her reexamination. Judge Walsh says based on that report and recent evidence, he has ordered another competency evaluation. The city of Rhinelander has announced its finalists for the city administrator position. Plus, it's official. The Hodags are the best mascot in America. We'll have the details after the break. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. All units, all units. Reports of an abortion at Central Hospital. Officers needed to detain doctor. If Ron Johnson has his way, he wouldn't just ban abortions. Doctors could go to jail for it. And Johnson's tried for over a decade. He even co-sponsored a bill with no exceptions for rape, incest, or the life of the woman. And said if women don't like an abortion ban, they can just move. But it's Ron Johnson who doesn't belong in Wisconsin. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Wisconsin, are we better off under Tony Evers? Our cost of living has skyrocketed. Evers has proposed painful tax increases and tried to raise the gas tax by 20%. Wisconsin is also less safe because Evers' parole board released hundreds of murderers and rapists early. Victims' families weren't even notified. And many of those criminals committed crimes again. Wisconsin, Tony Evers has failed. It's time for him to go. Introducing Granite Stone, the all-new durable non-stick pan. No butter or oil needed. Look, sticky candies, burnt-on cheese, caramel and chocolate. Even upside-down pan pizza just doesn't stick. Perfectly sear a filet or fire flambe. Get your Granite Stone pan for just $19.99. And with every order, you're going to get a Granite Stone single-serve egg pan absolutely free. Order now. To order, call 1-800-898-6703. That's 1-800-898-6703 or order on... Americans struggling to pay their bills. Yet Mandela Barnes supports a tax increase on working families. How could he? Barnes also supported hiring an army of 87,000 new IRS agents unleashed on families just like yours. That's terrifying. Mandela Barnes, higher taxes and IRS audits for you. Unpaid taxes for him. Remember that on Election Day. Wisconsin Truth Bank is responsible for the content of this advertising. The City of Rhinelander Common Council has selected two finalists for the position of new city administrator. The finalists are Re Richard Heath, administrator for the town of Algoma in Oshkosh, and Patrick Reagan, village manager for Lake Odessa, Michigan. Final interviews for these candidates are tentatively scheduled to begin next week. Whoever gets selected will replace the administrator job left by Zach Verwink. Many, many local high school sports receive funding from the school district, but not all. Nordic ski teams have to fund themselves, and Rhinelander is hoping to buy some new jerseys soon, so the team will be raising money tonight. Dairy Queen is having a share night from now until 8 p.m. 20% of all proceeds during this time will go directly to the team, and its skiers are due for an upgrade on uniforms. Help them out and grab a bite to eat tonight if you'd like. America has a new best high school mascot. The Rhinelander Hodags finished first in the best high school mascot in the country contest. They finished today with over 63% of the vote and over 180,000 votes in their favor. And by the way, that's over 100,000 votes above second place Shelley Russets of Idaho. Congratulations to the Hodags on your win and thank you to everyone who voted. We'll be right back after the break.
Warm up the room with an electric fireplace from Pleasant Hearth at Menards. Doubling as an entertainment center at Ambience 20 Room with its realistic flames and embers. Adjust everything from temperature to flame levels with its multifunctional remote. Save 11% on electric fireplaces. Be sure to discover the criterion advantages with our great selection of in-stock appliances. All energy efficient from dishwashers and refrigerators to washers and dryers. All criterion appliances are 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You've heard what women say about working at Tim Michaels' company, that they were groped. A male superior groped the crotch and inner thigh of a female employee. And pressured to have sex with their bosses. And now we know more. According to an attorney involved in the case, when the only woman on a Michaels Road crew was sexually harassed on the job, the company did not take it seriously. From the top down. From the top down. If that's how Tim Michaels runs his company, how do you think he'd run the state? To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Clover's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're tough with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to delicious. <laughs> There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got the future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and claim one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs on their way. We've been building this country for 119 years, and we're just getting started. I was in law enforcement for over 40 years, and I can't imagine a better attorney general than Josh Call. He's a real prosecutor who's locked up murderers, serial rapists, the really dangerous guys you want off the street, and kept them behind bars. And he'll work with anyone, Republican or Democrat, to get it done. Look, there's more we have to do, but the only one I'd want leading the fight against crime is our attorney general, Josh Call. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Stone Innovations, Rhinelander and Plover. All right, temperatures are warm once again today. Not quite reaching a record high, but tomorrow another nice looking day. 60s throughout the day, but then we start to cool off with rain showers moving in Friday into Saturday. So bring out those umbrellas. Yeah, I think fall is going to begin on Friday. Absolutely. Like, yeah. That's what it seems like. Day one. Thank you, Conrad. <laughs> That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here at 6. After an accident, you have an important opportunity to go after all the money you may be entitled to. When it comes to motorcycle representation for accidents, only one firm comes to mind, UP and Abraham.